guys, welcome back to Extraordinarily Ornate. Why are you laughing? I'm not going to do it ever if you just laugh every time. <laughs> it's just you're so dramatic and then when you're on this camera you're like the opposite. This is you in real life. Oh my god, you're bone cracked. This is you on camera. Hey guys, um, <laughs> welcome to Extraordinarily Ornate. Hey guys, so this week, <laughs> we're doing the five times. Hey guys. Welcome back to Extraordinarily Ordinary. So this week we're going to be talking about the five times that you're a bad friend. Which well, is often. Yeah, for you. Number five, lying about your ETA. We're all guilty of this and it happens all the time. Especially in New York City when you have the MTA to rely on for always messing up your travel plans. Or if you're aiming. Say you're already ten minutes late, mm -hmm. but you're like, Oh, I just got off the stop of five minutes away. You know you're not going to be there in five minutes. Right. Why do I write that? Well, like, that's like saying, oh, I'm walking out the door, really. You woke me up with this text or call. Oh, no. Did a bird just hit the window? Are you ready? Oh, sh Everyone stay calm. Number four. Playing both sides of a fight. Now in this case, you have two friends. They are arguing with each other. They're both mad at each other. We're always doing this. No, you're right. I'm your friend. And then, oh, you leave this person. You go over here. No, you're right. I'm your friend. The other doesn't know that you said this to the other. They both just think you're their best friend. You're fueling the fire now. And you're, you're just, just making it worse. <laughs> and if one of them is in the wrong, you should tell them that. That's what being a good friend is. Ever heard of it? I always tell anyone she's wrong, That's which is 90% of the time. No, not 90. 95. You're 95 right. 5% right. wrong. 100% real. <laughs> We're going to have to talk about this later. You ready? Hold on. Let me pull up my leggings. Are you ready? So ready. It's going to cut out. Number three. The breakup that you foreshadowed has come to fruition. You told them at the beginning you shouldn't be together. And this and is now, only the 53rd time you guys have had this conversation. And I now their heart's broken and you don't give a But as a person in your who's heart been right of hearts, this whole time, you know that they're dumb. Oh, I just flashed to the other side of it, and I was like, oh, but then I'd be sad. My friend yeah, that's the dumb. point. That's why this is a bad friend right. situation. Number two, when your friend gets good news and you're surrounded by a cloud of bad news. You don't have a job, you don't have a boyfriend, whatever it might be. You're just really sad about whatever the situation is. This isn't and quite your right friend it, comes in and says, He proposed! I just oh my God. got broken up with. No, I know. I got another job offer. That's my fourth one. Like, what am I going to do? I've been unemployed for three months. My best friend got me a puppy. You my know I love puppies. My sister said oh my, my God, family oh dog my God, died this I'm morning. Out, right? but that's great. That's great yeah, for you. No, that's so thank great. Thank you. You too. Thank you. You want to be like, you just oh, so mad. I let me so let me actually help you figure this out. But in reality, you're like, so which one of those can I? Take? I don't care. Because that's actually that's that's probably right. the better response. In reality, you're so over torn that you really just want to make it all about you, which makes you a bad friend. Number one, and this one, don't act like you haven't done it. Thank you for the drum roll. Um, so when your friend. Really. God, that was awful. So good. Thank you. That was maybe the so worst much. thing you've ever done in my presence. So weird because <laughs> bad friendship just seems to be circling us. Yeah, yeah, really. it does. <laughs> Number. <laughs> that, that's what you want to use? When your friend needs you, something bad has happened, and they need you to help them through it. But you just don't feel like it. 
And they're like, is there any way you could just come over for like half an hour? And you're like, I'd have to get dressed for that. So I just so you just don't so you don't respond. <laughs> and later you say I fell asleep. Yeah. That's being a bad friend. Don't do that. <laughs> Like, doing that once or twice, we're like, I need a day. That's something. But, like, these people who do that But if every time I text you yeah. and you ignore me because you're watching Netflix, I don't remember what we're doing. We finished, did we finish one? Yeah, we did all these. Yeah. Kind of. Okay. So we just gotta wrap it up. Wrap right, before, before you tap it. Oh my god! Stop! These are five things that make you a bad friend. Amy does them all the time. Don't listen to her nonchalant head nods. Are you kidding me? Be good to yourself, but be good to your friends. What is this face? <laughs> this, like, character that you've entered as this Chris person on camera of, like, judgmental, nonchalant douchebag is so interesting to me. Well, what I like the most is, uh, your use of the word nonchalant. That didn't just happen a few minutes ago. <laughs> what? <laughs> did I say nonchalant? You did. Thank you. Well, After I said it. You've never used that word before. I don't well, think. you're going to feel dumb when we watch this video. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to crop yours outside. <laughs> if you like this video, be a good friend and click <laughs> subscribe. What are you waiting for? What are you, wait what are you waiting for? Is that a song? It is, but that wasn't the right I tune. I think you're thinking of Love Me Like You Do, but... Love Me Like You Do. Okay, I think that's probably a good place to end. <laughs> if that wasn't the ending, I don't know what is.